day 19 of Sober October in aid of Macmillan Cancer Support. Yes, day 19. Um, I'm nearly at day 20, which day 20 is like sort of my favourite one. Well, not as much as day 31. That's it. We're, we're sort of on that home stretch now, aren't we? The home straight. The home straight. Yeah, we'll not talk about stretching again. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so it is the Q&A Because uh, Urban LBV isn't at 500 subscribers I couldn't actually put it on that community tab I had to put it on mine, Little Bro Vapes Which we didn't get any questions And also on my personal page and uh, Three Men and a Vape Show So big shout out to everybody who has left a question uh, We will even read one out from Darth Vapor <laughs> Big love Darth <laughs> Also, just before we get on to the questions, a uh, big shout out to Andy Fletcher. Now, when we did the prostate cancer walk, um, Andy got in touch with us by email um, that he'd, he'd gone through prostate cancer. Um, but unfortunately, at the minute, he's bed bound. So he did send me an email uh, wishing me and Louise luck with the uh, Macmillan. So big love to you, mate. And both of us are thinking about you and I hope you're okay. And uh, keep strong, mate, and keep that chin up. Big love to you, buddy. Big love. Right then, you're doing the reading, aren't you? I am doing the reading. Let's get on with these questions. The first question is from Stuart Valentine. It is, and it's to Lou about your marriage. Was it a decent or indecent proposal? Give details. Well, you, you, you can tell them, especially when you get back in focus. I mean, for, I don't, it's you, you put your coffee cup up. Is it? Yeah. All right then. But it's okay. gone back to normal You've now. You've gone a bit further forward now. <laughs> The amount of arguing we've just done over being in focus. Yeah, it's because you keep doing that. I'm in it now. Right, so, right. She's in it, in it. I'm in it. I'm with it. I'm on it. Like a car body. It. <laughs> <laughs> and it, well, yeah. yeah. Go and tell the truth. Yeah. I was very sick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll tell you. We'd, we'd, we'd been out. We'd gone to, um, to a nightclub. We'd had a good couple of beers, haven't we? And... Uh, I was holding her hair while she was being sick over the toilet and I proposed to her, said to her, will you marry me? I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And she went, <laughs> If a man can take you and look after you and want to be with you, spewing up vodka Red Bulls. It was vodka Red Bulls as well. I think you, you're set for life. You are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it was, uh, it was a, uh, what, is that indecent or... To me, it were decent. It was, to other it was, people, it was <laughs> indecent. See, Louis, we've got to let you know, out of both of it, Louise doesn't drink. If you drink, what, three, four times a year, you look it, and then you're only... and Well, say a little bit more times. If, if Jan, Mark's wife, says she might drink a little bit more, because them two, once they get on the wine, it's a good old giggle. But it it's not very often you drink, is it? No, it's not, no. I don't think people, obviously we all know that I'm a drinker, but I don't think people, when you've got two drinkers together, I don't think it's a good thing, do yeah, you? No, it don't work. You've got to have one that's grounded Yeah. to look after the other one. But I'm saying that, though, when I've had a beer, I can always look after you yeah, when you've you had can, one. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can, yeah. Yeah, you can. Big love to Stuart. Thank you thank so much, you. buddy. We love Stuart, don't we? We do love Stuart. Right, next question is um, Craig Walsh. He's all, Well, Stuart's all the way from Australia. Craig, which is Cicero. Or Cicero, I call him Cicero. Craig Walsh, he's all the way from the US. Yeah. And then we've got to St. Lou. There's a unique mindset of smokers surviving cancer. How do you feel vaping, having rubbed shoulders with the big C? Do you still feel like you're dodging bullets from the firing squad? Hmm. But there's, there's sort of two questions in there, I, I feel. The, 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 the thing with the smoking, you, you sort of, obviously, when you... When we'd had the children, yeah, I stopped smoking when I had when you I was pregnant. pregnant with yeah. the children, um, and then obviously when you got cancer, you 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 wasn't vaping then, was you? No, I wasn't vaping then, and I weren't smoking, were I? I think you were. I think you had the odd one. I think because you've always been that sort of yeah, just now and again get a bit stressed. You'd have a, yeah, side. stress. Yeah, she'd have a cigarette. Yeah, yeah. She'd go and, and it was my little get out as well because the kids couldn't follow you while you were having a fag, and I used to sit on back fag. <laughs> yeah, but in America, that means a different thing. All oh, right, sorry, Americans. Cigarette. <laughs> I used to sit on the back doorstep and have a cigarette. Yeah, you would, yeah. And the kids knew to leave me alone. But once you did did get cancer, you didn't smoke at all. No, no. I've had. I I have been naughty. I must admit, and had a couple of cheeky na ones, haven't I? You have, yeah. Um, but vaping, well. 
It, it, t- it took you a while to sort of get her the right sort it, of... It did, yeah, because I couldn't find a juice that I liked. I'm always switching and changing mods. Yeah, which are pretty lucky, obviously, with me reviewing Yeah, them. yeah. But she, the, the thing with Lou is she was trying to do, like, maybe three milligram where it wasn't giving her enough um, nicotine. Mm. So I said to her, look, try Nixalts, get onto the 20 milligram Nixalts, and it gave you enough. Because you, you don't vape that much, really, no, do you? No, It's just if you get that little bit of a, a stress feeling, that's when you... Yeah. But, yeah, she, she hasn't... You haven't had a cigarette for a long time, have you? No, no. And, obviously, with the cancer thing, um, the vaping's... Well, it's not 100% proven, but it's got to be a damn sight. Well, it is, it's 97% safe, lot, lot, safer lot than safer smoking. A lot safer than smoking all yeah. them chemicals. It's, it's not 97% safe. You're not supposed to put anything in your body, but it's 97% safer than smoking. Uh, the other part of that question, do you still feel like you're dodging bullets from a firing squad? I, I, on my side of it, I always start to get worried when it's time for blood tests, when you start having your... Um, when you've got to go back and see the specialist and stuff like that. It's, it's always been a bit of a... It has, hasn't it? Yeah, I've had many... many a, Scare. Yeah. And a, yeah it's, it's not nice. Once you've had it, you're, you're always worried about secondary yeah, cancer. Yeah, everything. Even just down to feeling a little bit under weather, having a bit of a sore throat, any pain in your stomach... Well, you've still got lumps, haven't you? Which you've yeah. still got to be going. You've got yeah, on, one I've, of your boob. One, yeah, one in my boob and one on my leg. Um, so I'm waiting to see a surgeon regarding that, but yeah. they don't think it's anything sinister. Yeah. So yeah, it's got a, it's got, a, it has actually got blood vessels, aren't it? Yeah, blood vessels, but they said it could be a hematoma. Yeah, which is like a blood clot, a sack of blood. So, but again, with obviously everything that's happening with COVID, everything's all behind you, sort of just waiting for yeah, it to... Yeah, it's been about a year now, hasn't yeah. it, since we first... Because you, you have had two dates, but they've been put back, haven't they? Yeah. But yeah. That, that that was absolutely terrible, once we because it was the one just on the inside of a leg that we found first, and then you found the one on your boob. Yeah. And again, there was, because of COVID, it, we, we were waiting, weren't we? Yeah, yeah. I think I, it was just as COVID kicked in, wasn't it? I think so, yeah, because I've had one in my neck as well, haven't I? Yeah, that and got I removed. that removed. Um, so it's just a waiting game. Yeah, so you do, you do, you panic, you do panic, don't you? You definitely do, yeah, definitely. Big love to Craig, you're an absolute star, love you to bits. Kieran Doyle. Yeah, to the wonderful Louise, a very serious question, if you don't mind me asking. When in the bloody hell are you going to make Aiden get rid of that 10 year old boy haircut mohawk? Or more like shark fin? We're all right at the minute. I've I have got rid of that. Um, <coughs> I went down to Jules Mama Vapes's party uh, in Scotland. Just to, uh, uh, if you're a, a Patreon member of my vaping channel, you'll know that. Just went up there at one early morning, had a beer. So I had it shaved off there. So I had to grow it sort of out. So I'm back to me '90s spiky hair. I've always had it like this, haven't I? Yeah, I think it were nice just to do something a bit different, weren't it? Well, it were a simple thing for the COVID, really, wasn't it? It was just like straight down the middle. We went for the full on. Grade two, didn't we? Yeah, I and terrible. And you weren't keen on that. It looked a bit thuggish, didn't you? I looked like a thug or I looked like Pugsley, to be honest with you, out of the Adams family. I didn't so, yeah, it was just easy, weren't it? Part it to one side, shaved up. One well, side, yeah, and then the other side. Flip it over. And we were done. So, yeah. But we, we are back to the normal and I am going a little bit, bit balding. A bit balding. That's another thing as well. I suffer from alopecia, and there's been plenty of times you, you've been able to see on me. Is it on that side or is it that side? I think it's that side. You see, I, we, I get it in my beard, and then I get patches in my hair. Many a time I've come home and had a good old cry, especially stress. If I get stressed or anything like that, I get patches. And people, I, I used to go to the club, and they used to go, "Have you been jackassed?" You know, when they used to, go, <laughs> I'd have like a big patch. Even when we got married, I, I woke up one morning. It were on that. Sorry, right, you have to. It's on that side there, and it all the way around there. It come out. So you've been. Shaving my beard while I've been asleep. She went, no. So on our wedding photographs, I've got it all squared off, haven't I? Yeah. So yeah, I suffer from alopecia, but yeah, I'm just happy I've still got a bit of hair. That's it. It was nice to have a bit of long hair. It, it, it was, yeah. It was, the back, it got right long, didn't it? It did, It was yeah. right down here. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kieran Doyle. You're an absolute star. Lee Armitage, the evil wizard himself. I hope you're okay, buddy, and send our love to Lisa as well. Yeah, to Lou. Will you let Aiden come out to play with Darth? 
the evil wizard and the evil wizard's beer wench again. And hopefully you will join us next time. Yeah, but... Definitely. Yeah, we're all going to have to have a meet-up. We did say that, um, uh, me, you, Lisa and Darth, uh, we were supposed to meet up. Well, me, Darth and Lisa and uh, Lee all met up at the um, Premier Inn. We all had like a Sunday dinner and a few beers. But Lou had tested positive for COVID, so... Uh, I did, yeah. Oh, you was waiting for your results, so she couldn't make it, which was absolutely horrible. But we did have a good time. We're gonna to have to sort that out before Christmas. Yeah, definitely do that again. Yeah, yeah definitely. I will definitely come and, and can... join in this time. Right? Yeah, and we'll have a, a bit longer beer. Yeah. Big love to you both. Big love to Lisa as well. Chris Henderson again, all the way over from the US. He's in Alabama. Alabama. Yeah, and he is Full Moon, 1973. If you want to go check him out on YouTube, a really nice bloke. Always great to see Mrs. Lou on the vlogs. It's like Beauty and the Beast. Aww, I am the thanks. beauty, no. and you can be the beast. You're, you're <laughs> the beast. <laughs> For Mrs. Uh, where am I now? You're there. It says Chris. Oh, Henry. yeah. For Mrs. Louise, who are you more likely to have to send to their room for misbehaving? One of the kids are Aiden. All of them. I don't misbehave that much. No. I like the peace and quiet, though. Send you all to bed. I'm normally in my, my, my own room anyway. It'd probably be one of kids, to be quite honest with you. I'm normally in my own room anyway. Yeah, just chuck him in his front room. <laughs> my sleeping patterns... Uh, so we sort of cross in the night, don't we? My sleeping patterns like that, so uh, we, we sort of cross in the night. But yeah, the kids. The, definitely the kids. The, especially the older ones. They're the ones now who uh, are getting a little bit more naughty. The youngest one, Fern's not so bad, but yeah, the, the other two are... The joys of high school... My friend yeah. used to say, you'll hate your kids when they go up to Don Valley. You'll not recognise them in two years' time. And I said, no, never. Yeah, they're right. I didn't say no, never. They're definitely right, aren't they? We don't hate them. <laughs> no. Just, the, ju the, the thing is, they're just growing up and they're, they're, they're sort of finding their feet. And, yeah, it's just that, that growing up thing. And they think they're older in their heads than what they actually are. And what I do love as well about children is they think that you have just fell off a Christmas tree. Yeah. Don't they? They sit there, sorry, I've got an itchy nose. They sit there and try and talk to you like you're daft, like you don't know what they're on about. And then they try and twist things. So you then twist them back. It's just, <laughs> I have so many good conversations with him. Really good. It's yeah. like it's like EastEnders in our house. It is, very much. Big love to Chris. Hope you're okay, buddy, and send our love to your lovely wife as well. Right then, we've got to do this one. Yeah, from Darth Vapor. Craig, big love to you, buddy. <laughs> We're not going to do the one about the toilet wall. We're not going to do any of the other ones that you've said. But we'll do this one. We'll do this one. This, one. this one's all right. If you had chance of having a celebrity visit you on one of your vlogs to help raise a few quid for charity, who would you like? Who would you like, Aidan? Who would I like? See, if he was still alive, I would, I would have loved, obviously, Robin Williams. I really do love Robin Williams. But who would I like as a celebrity? I don't know who would you have? Me. I'd have my I'd have, I'd have my famous granddad, Robert De Niro. No, I thought you were gonna say Henry the Eighth or something. No, like that. Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro what what she means is the intern. She loves the intern. Um The film, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, she loves she she's one of these people, she's a, a creature of habit. I'm one of these, let's watch something new. She's like, let's watch that thing that we've watched about 45,000 times. I know it word by word. I'm I'm currently re uh, visiting my youth. Well, it's not so much either with your youth, is it? Because we, we got all the box sets when oh, we... we only were... ten when it come out. I know, yeah. Ten. Buffy yeah. the Vampire Slayer. Yeah. We got all the box sets, didn't we, when we... What, the way we... before This was before we had kids. So I had a house up in Bentley, and you moved in, didn't you? So I worked... At uh, that time, it was just Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You might get an odd gig on a Wednesday, but I gigged all weekend. And like I said, maybe an odd one on a Wednesday. It wasn't like five, six nights a week like it was at the beginning. So... We had all week together, didn't we? So I'd just work on the weekend, and then all week we'd, we'd go and have a beer, or we'd go out and have dinner, or we'd just go and chill and watch television in the bedroom, didn't we? And we used to have a charity shop over the road, yeah, didn't we? And we'd just go and pick videos. Yeah. Not DVDs, we used to go and get the old videos, didn't old we? Old videos, yeah. So yeah, we went and got all the box sets of... Um, Buffy. Buffy, and we watched all that. Now I can't watch it. At that time, I, I don't know how old, but you'd have been 18. In 20... 20 summer, 26. 26, I'd have been 26. So yeah, we, 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 we watched all them. 
Do you know, we had some good times, didn't we? We did. We, did. we used to move the. Uh, we used to have these set of drawers. We used to move it and put the television right at the end of the night. <laughs> We did, yeah. Not <coughs> we, moved. We did. We used to then go to the shop, didn't we? Go and get us big sandwich front shop. Yeah, big sandwich. Big sandwich, and then uh, we'd probably have an afternoon nap. And this is all obviously before we had kids. I told you not to have them kids. I know. It's your fault. Should have worn your wellies. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to say what I was just about to say. <laughs> go uh, on then. What who, celebrity who, would you have? Who then? would I have? Um, I don't really know. Uh, it'd probably be a footballer. I'd probably have somebody like Steven Gerrard or uh, or something like that. Yeah, or, or Klopp, Jurgen Klopp. Oh, yeah. We'd have Jurgen Klopp. Yeah, he's nice. The dog's barking now. He wants to come in. <laughs> and the final question... Oh, no, 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 it isn't the final question, but is my brother from another mother, the one and only Mr B, Michael Culshaw. Yeah. How are you, brother? I hope you're okay. And send our love to uh, Mrs B. Hope her leg's all right. Or getting better. If you had to wear a mankini on Three Men and a Vape show, what colour would you choose? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd probably have to go for that luminous green, a bit like um, uh, Borat. Yeah. This is nice. I've actually... No, I can't Day say glow that. Dayglow green. Dayglow green, yeah, but something like that. Maybe a bit... No, a bit, bit brighter than that. A bit brighter than that, yeah. I don't think I'd look very good in a mankini. I've not got a bum. I'm just got a crack in my back. That's all I've got. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Just haven't really got a bum. I just start and finish from the back. It's just like all the way down to my toes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Big love, bro. Would you wear a mankini? Uh, no. Definitely not. Not got the balls for it? No, definitely <laughs> <laughs> Big love to you, Mr. B, and I will see you tomorrow night. Right, the last question, and this is from Finn Shaw. He works at the shop on the corner. He's a really, really nice bloke. Um, and it, he's one of the people, people, if you talk around, around here who go to the shop, always say that he knows what he's on about, he never wants to rip anybody off, um, and he always tries to get people the right devices. Big love to you, buddy. You're an absolute star. How are you finding the Sober October so far, mate? And how are we going for a pint or ten in November? Uh, first of all, yeah, I'm finding it a lot better than I did last year. Last year, obviously, I didn't know what was going to happen. It had been a long time. In fact, I don't think I'd ever gone 30 days or 31 days without a beer. But never. It's not something that I'd do. But um, obviously, Zach, shut up. Dog's whining. <laughs> um Obviously, I now know what what it's about, and I know I can do it. So yeah, it's it's been a little bit easy. I did say to you the other day. I think it, were, it was Saturday. I did say in the vlog, I could have just quite happily gone and got a vodka tonic and a little bit of lime in it. I yeah. right fancied that. Um, I think it helps that you know you're doing it for a good cause as well. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and it's also a quite. A, we've used I've used it as well as a reset. You know, like right because I did with my health. My health hasn't been very good with the diabetes, um, and obviously this with the iron. And just basically, I, well, I had the COVID as well. Uh, I think we, well, I got that long COVID, so it's, it's been a little bit of a hard, hard slog. So I think I was drink, I wasn't drinking more, but I was drinking more when I drank. If that makes sense, I was still drinking Wednesday, probably on the weekend. Um, and if I did another show, I'd probably have a beer, maybe three times a week, um, or four times maybe. If we- if I fancied it <laughs> but when I was drinking, I was drinking more. So it's been nice to have a little bit of a reset. I found, especially probably about 10 days in, 11 days in, I've started to get a little bit more of it. It's like today, I've been up at 4 o'clock this morning, got the review sort of done. Then I went back and had a nana nap, didn't I? You did, yeah. And then uh, back up again to, to finish off the review, do this as well. So, uh, yeah. And, mate, yes, we are definitely going to have to have... We'll, we'll nip to the club, have a game of snooker and have a beer. I'm looking forward to that on the 31st. Yeah. Can't believe it. We're, we're, what, we're 12 days away? Just can't believe it. It has gone fast. It has gone quick this time round. Yeah. Big shout out, Finn. Big love to you, buddy. Well, it, that was the, the questions. Uh, thank you so much to everybody who took the time to, to give us the questions. I hope you've enjoyed the answers. Um, don't forget, 
not this Wednesday, next Wednesday, we will be doing an auction. There's going to be a Kennedy Met mod that Darth Vapor's uh, put in. Uh, there's going to be a couple of other bits and bobs. Companies have put stuff in. So there's going to be quite a bit um, for the auction to push us a little bit further forward. Big shout out as well to everybody who's been sharing the vlog out there and also the link that we are at. How much are we at? Because I've moved it. £821. £821. Like, like I said on, on yesterday's vlog, I, I know things are really tight. It's a little bit different than, than last year. But for everybody, again, who's donated and also spread the link, thank you so much. It really does mean a lot to it us. It does, yeah. Definitely and, it, and it is for a fantastic cause. Um, I will... Right hand. I will just put it over... No, in fact, I'll put it in the middle of us. Just lean that way. There you go. That is what the actual total is. Now we can lean back. <laughs> Right, that's it. I've really enjoyed that, have you? Yeah, I have, yeah. Thank you very much for joining me again. Well, you're and I do welcome. love you. I love you too. Even though you look taller than me. I know. His she, seat, his seat's broke. She broke it. I didn't break it. And she just slams down, bum straight down on it, and my thing's gone down. So, But they, they are sending me a new pumper. That's good. <laughs> so I need to stand up shortly, because I'm slouched and my bum's gone now. Has it? Yeah. Don't say it, Aiden. <laughs> Big love to you all, and we will catch you tomorrow for day... 20. <laughs> I have got uh, three men and a vape show tomorrow, so it will be an early vlog. I'm burping now. So I'll catch you tomorrow for day 20. And what do we say? Good, Good nighter. Night,